Hi everyone! Welcome to the Crafty Pixie channel where we do sewing projects and subscription boxes. I am B. How is everybody doing today? I see you and you guys are awesome. I hope everyone is well and I appreciate everything. Uh, in today's video, um, I have been wanting to do this project for a little bit now. Um, I actually looked at a few um, different options and different videos and everything and kind of picked and chose what I wanted um, to do in this project. I actually made myself a sewing machine mat. So here it is. Um, I got the fabric at Joann's. It's just quilt cotton. I got it a, a little bit ago. Um, I thought it was really cute. I didn't know what I wanted to do with it yet. Um, but I figure since it's sewing machine, you know, sewing stuff, it would be great as a sewing room mat or a sewing machine mat. So it's got a few pockets here and then also has a thread catcher um, where you can catch all of your um, pieces when you're done with it. Um, and it is on a little snap so you can take it off to empty it out and everything like that. Uh, there's a little bit of fusible fleece. There's not too much fabric involved um, at all. I would say if you use a yard, you know, if you get a yard, that should be more than enough to do everything that you, you know, want to do on here if you want to follow it exactly. But there's lots of options that you can do to customize this for yourself, which is really, really nice. Um, not hard at all. I would say this is probably beginner friendly. Um, so I'm going to walk you through that and let you know the measurements and everything like that because it's something that I created. Um, also, I got some more stuff in the advent calendar that I'm going to go over with you. I'm right, just pulling everything out. Um, so the first thing we got since the last video what is a pom-pom maker. I don't know how to use this. Um, it's something I'm going to have to figure out how to do, um, but it's really um, an interesting prospect. Um, so there's that. And then we got... Uh, 40 berry pins or berry head pins with assorted colors and then I got this nice little travel sewing kit uh, you can slide the top right off you've got two buttons a safety pin and then you have 10 needles all pre-threaded already which is really nice um, you don't have to worry about that um, so there's that. That's, that'll come in handy. I always have one in my purse or my bag um, or in the car because you never know. I did have one at one point at work uh, that came in handy a few times. Uh, we also got a giant spool of white thread. I don't remember how many yards this is, but this is a lot. This is a lot more than the normal one that you get at the store, like the Guterman or anything like that. So. We got some of that <clears throat> and then we got this nice little uh, snips so basically there's a, a plastic cover and you slide it up and out and then you just snip what you need to snip and when you're done you slide it back in and you're done um, i don't have scissors this small so this is definitely going to stay next to the sewing machine um, and then we also got some bobbins. I don't know how well you're going to see these, but we got some bobbins here. Um, I don't know if these are going to fit into my sheet machine yet. I haven't tried. Um, my machine takes plastic needles, uh, so I'm going to have to look it up and see if they'll take these metal ones. But there are three metal ones in here, which is really nice. So that's uh, pretty much everything so far in the advent calendar. Uh, if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button down below and the notification bell so you know when I upload every week. Leave a comment in the comment section, especially if you're a new subscriber. I would love to hear from you and give the video a thumbs up. Okay, without any further ado, let's get to materials and escape for a while. For this project, you're going to need a few pieces of fabric. So for the sewing machine mat, you're going to need two pieces of cotton um, measuring 20 inches by 20 inches, 
One of them is fused with fusible fleece. For the pocket for the mat, you're going to need two pieces of cotton. They can be the same, they can be different, whichever you choose. One is interfaced with SF101. For the thread catching basket that is attached to the pocket, you're going to need two pieces of cotton fabric. Again, they can be the same fabric, they can be different colors, different design, whatever you choose. This is going to be 12 inches by eight inches. And then you're going to have one fused with fusible fleece. You're going to need a ruler, a marking tool, a um, seam ripper is always good to have on hand. Of course, your scissors, clips or pins, and then I am going to be using a snap. So I've got my snap tool with my snaps and my little um, punch through for inserting them. Coordinating thread, sewing machine, a little bit of time, an iron, and you are set to go. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do is we're going to put together the pocket for the sewing mat. Now you don't have to have a pocket if you don't want to. I like to have a pocket because I like to stick um, pens or um, my stiletto or my seam ripper or anything like that all in there so I have it on hand if I need it. So what we're going to do, if you have a directional print, make sure the top of your print is up here. We're going to take the um, 20 inch by five inch pocket. The side that is fused with SF 101 is going to be our exterior. And then the side without the SF 101 is going to be the lining of the pocket. So what we're going to do is we're going to lay the lining wrong side down on top of the exterior that is right side up. So remember the exterior is the side that has the SF 101 on it. And then we're just going to clip it along the top. Make sure that you are even and lined up. like so. We're going to take this over to the sewing machine and with a quarter of an inch seam allowance we are going to stitch right across where we just pinned. Make sure to back stitch at the beginning and at the end. Stitch length of course like 2.5 millimeters. All right I'm gonna do that I'll be right back. Once I did the stitching, I went ahead and flipped this right side out, folded it on the seam that I just made, made sure the lining and the seam were even, and gave it a good press. Now I'm going to go ahead and top stitch right along the top at an eighth of an inch seam allowance so that seam stays nice and doesn't roll or anything um, as it gets used. So I'm going to do that. I'll be right back. With the top stitching done, I went ahead and gave it a press to seal the seams. Now we're going to take our panel for the base of the um, sewing mat, the one that is fused with fusible fleece, and we're going to lay that right side up. If it's a directional print, make sure that is your top right up here. Um, I didn't realize this was directional print until I um, had cut it out. Luckily, <laughs> it's the same size, so we're good. So I'm going to go ahead and line up our pocket to the bottom. We're going to align the bottom and the sides. Like so. And we're going to clip it in place.
like so. And we're gonna take this over to the sewing machine and we're going to baste at an eighth of an inch seam allowance down the side, across the bottom, and up the other side. Do not back stitch and uh, base stitching about five millimeter stitch length. And I'm going to do that, I'll be right back. All right, with that basted down, I'm now going to make um, lines for where I'm going to divide the pocket. Again, you don't have to make pockets if you don't want to. You can have just one big one. You can make several little ones. You can make two big ones. Like, this is very customizable for you. Okay, so basically, I'm going to mark in like six inches from the side and I'm gonna mark so that I can see where I'm sewing and I'm gonna sew right over it and then this one I'm gonna do another six inches And doing this, you want to use one that's going to be an air erasing pen or a chalk pen or Taylor's chalk just so that it doesn't stay when you're finished. Um, this one I'm going to do like about four inches. And then it'll be the end over here. I don't think I made this one straight though. There we go. Okay, now you're going to take this back over to the sewing machine and you're going to top stitch right over the lines that you just made. Bear in mind, these pockets are going to get a lot of use. So you want to make sure that you backstitch really well at the beginning here and at the end, um, if nothing else, especially up here at the beginning. Uh, you're gonna use three millimeter stitch length, stitch all the way down, give it a good press. And while you're at the sewing machine, you're going to flip this over and we're going to fold the top of your lining and your exterior in a quarter of an inch and press so that when we turn this right side out, you don't have to worry about an uneven line at the top because all you're gonna have to do is top stitch it to be done. Okay, so I'm going to go to the sewing machine and the iron to do all of that and I'll be right back. All right, with that done, this is what you're looking at now. Um, we're going to lay your exterior panel right side up and we're going to lay the lining right side down. We're going to match all four sides. And we're going to clip all four sides. If you're a little off, it's okay. Sometimes that happens when you are manually measuring something out, at least for me. I cannot make a straight line even with a ruler. So, draw a pretty good circle though. All right, so bottom. Now when you are sewing this, you are not sewing the top until after this is turned right side out. So just bear that in mind. I had to place a bunch of clips where I folded up here because the fusible fleece makes it difficult to stay into place. So just bear that in mind when you are doing yours. Okay, right up the side. Like that. Now we are going to sew at a quarter of an inch seam allowance. We're going to sew right down the side 
across the bottom and right up the other side. Make sure you backstitch really well at the beginning and at the end. When you are sewing, bear in mind as well your turned edges so that you do not accidentally unturn them. All right, so I am going to go to the sewing machine, do that, and then turn this right side out. And I will be right back. All right, with it sewn, flipped right side out, and top stitched, this is what you are looking at. It's a nice little mat with your pockets in there. Now we're going to stick this to the side. And we're going to grab the two cotton pieces for the little thread basket um, that we're going to make to go along with that. Okay, so basically first step. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to take our cotton that is fused with the fusible fleece. We're going to lay that right side up and then you're going to lay your lining piece right side down. And we're going to pin across the top. If this is, uh, if you have a directional print, this is your top right here for both the lining and the exterior. I'm gonna clip it into place. like so and now we're going to take this over to the sewing machine and with a quarter of an inch seam allowance we're going to stitch right across the top where we did um, place our clips or pins make sure to back stitch at the beginning and at the end and you'll be using a 2.5 millimeter stitch length I'm gonna go do that I'll be right back with that done we are now going to fold it so that it is right sides together and we're going to fold it so that the shorter sides of the uh, lining and the exterior are facing. So we're going to fold it right like that. We're going to align the seam that we just did first. And then we're going to align the bottom. Like so. We're going to align the lining. Now bear in mind the lining doesn't have any interfacing or anything on it. So it is easier to stretch out so just bear that in mind don't force it too much in a direction or anything like that and then we're going to clip across the bottom of the exterior as well and then up here we're going to leave about a two inch opening so that we can turn this bag out when we're done. Okay, so we're going to take this over to the sewing machine and with a quarter of an inch seam allowance you are going to stitch across the bottom of the exterior up the side of the exterior and lining. You're gonna come across, stop, and start again and finish. Make sure to backstitch really well right here because you're gonna be turning everything out and you have fusible fleece. Make sure you backstitch at the beginning and at the end of your stitches as well. So I'm going to go do that. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to show you how to box the corners. So I'll be right back. With that done, now what you're going to do for the corners, you're going to do this to all four of the corners. 
is you're gonna pull the fabric apart like so and we're gonna make a triangle just like that so your seam on this side and the seam on this side are together try to make this as flat as possible so that when you make your mark you're good you're gonna lay this down I already did the other ones and then with a ruler you're just gonna mark where it's an inch from corner to corner and you're gonna draw a line like so and then you're gonna clip it now you're gonna take this over to the sewing machine and with a 2.5 millimeter stitch length you're going to sew right across the lines that you just made make sure to back stitch at the beginning and at the end when you're done you're going to cut that down to about a quarter of an inch um, just so you don't have any excess bulk you're going to do it to all four sides i'm going to do that i'll be right back all right with that done and turned right side out this is what you're looking at now we're going to take this back over to the sewing machine and we're just going to stitch our opening closed so you can do an eighth of an inch seam allowance right across the top right here um, you can do 2.5 millimeter or 3 millimeter stitch length for it and then we're just going to poke the lining back into the bag and attach it to our mat so I'm going to go do the uh, sewing real fast and I'll be right back with the bag turned right side out you're going to go ahead and top stitch along the top just so that the lining stays where it belongs and the exterior stays where it belongs once that's done and you've given it a press we are going to attach it to our mat um, i'm going to stick mine right here because that's going to be like perfect for me and basically what we're going to do is we're going to eyeball it and we're going to place poke a hole right through the fabric i'm about half of an inch down from the top poke a hole just through your pocket you don't want to go through your base you're going to put the cap on the inside of the pocket like so and then we're going to put the female end right on top now take your tool I'm going to show you as best I can everything matches sorry you're going to take your tool line it up underneath and on top and we're going to squeeze down hard okay so that one is attached now we're going to do the same thing to the back side of the basket so we're going to poke a hole again you can guesstimate it's okay about half of an inch down poke a hole through now this time you're going to stick the cap on the inside of the basket like so and we're going to place the male end on top and then we're going to press it just like we did with the other one like so squeeze tight and then you are good to go there and then you just hook it on all right voila there is my interpretation of a sewing machine mat that I think is going to come in very handy for me. 
Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment in the comment section. Give the video a thumbs up. And until next time, see ya!